So here's the setup. Um, I think I'm supposed to turn this this way. Here's the setup for uh, the choke manifold. We're just doing a connection right now. We're circulating it uh, on the circ side, 10,500. On the Kelly side, 10,500, or on the well control side, uh, 193 liters a minute. Um, so basically we're pumping across the stack right now and as soon as we've done the connection, so we've designed this system so we never have to shut the pump off. There's an HCR on the side of the stack which we just simply have to uh, open or close to direct our flow from our pump. So we equalize with these manifolds down here. We've got a dedicated manifold for um, equalizing the standpipe and leading off the standpipe and we never have to shut our pumps off. So now we've got our rate stabilized at 181 liters a minute. We'll just continue to uh, pump and flow. Our well control manifolds there, super choke on the outside, uh, line heater separator, return tank over here, transfer pumps, and gasser as a backup to the main separator. Fair flare puts in behind. Uh, bleed manifold right there, pumping manifold over there. Uh, transfer lines going across to our active system over there. Our drilling mud system is right beside me here. I'm rigged up right beside the <coughs> anchor on the one side. Okay, so now when we switch over, we'll have to equalize the the uh, stand pipe. So they're just making up the connection now with the power comp. And once they make this connection up, then we'll kick in on our, our uh, third pump and bring the system back up to open the check valves, which we'll see on this gauge here. And actually, both pump in. Okay, so now when you see the pump come online, you're gonna see our pressures come up to 12 grand. He's equalizing now. So the third pump comes online. And, okay, come on, boys. What's going on here? Uh, we should see more pressure than that. What's going on? Oh, I just heard that pump start to stroke. There we go. Okay, now we're coming up. And we'll see our check valves open on the pump. He didn't pump high enough there. He's got to come more, 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 more. Okay, our check valves will open there. There they go. Check valves are open. Now we're safe to close the HCR on the stack, which will redirect the flow down the tubing and back to the wall control manifold without ever having to shut the pumps down. So we don't have to keep trying to get equilibrium on these chokes over here because I've got four chokes, manual chokes closed, and then we're doing the final pressures with the Swaco super choke. So. And then uh, we're definitely washing okay, hydrates. Go ahead and, uh, shut that out, mate. Okay, now you're going to see the pump stop jacking as we go down. Right, the, our pump pressure comes up. We're all good on this end. Go ahead, rock and roll. So now our, our system, we've got about a thousand PSI more on our pump pressure going through that wash nozzle than we have on our return side. And now if you watch your liters per minute, as we wash this hydrate, I've got a flow meter in the line and that line will start to spin up. And we're, we're, we're sometimes we're up to almost 900 liters a minute because the gas is flat or the hydrates are flashing off the gas. But this liter, it, it's really interesting when you watch the jack go down, it's almost linear. As he goes down, um, you know, and the pipe starts coming down, we'll see our nozzle pressure goes up because he's pounding into the hydrate, and then this liters per minute starts to spin up. Ready. Go ahead, Tony, you're good to go. So as he strokes down now with the jack, coming down on the swivel. Come on down makes that power pack direct a little bit. Okay, and look at the liters per minute as you pound into that hydrate. It just flashes off the gas and that and that uh, flow meter just starts to spin up right away. That's what's happening in WC1 and Tarine today.